I thought as a bit of fun we could extend what we've done already. You don't have to watch the videos. You might want to go back and watch the previous videos later on. We certainly here in Western Europe, when we utter a sentence, tend to be happy with subject, verb, object, order. The man goes to town. It's really quite common across a lot of languages. What we've done is put together a vocabulary with lots of silly things in it, like the dog, the man, the robot for the subject, bit, kicked, stroked for the verb, and the object, of course, is the, the thing that these actions are done on, so you can have the robot kicked, the dog, whatever you like. But then we got to thinking, subject, verb, object. Is this favoured by all beings in the universe? Are there some beings out there that regardless of the actual details of the language and the words, be it Finnish, English, French, Spanish, don't like subject, verb, object orderings. They'd like to do it a weird way around. How about object, subject, verb? So instead of saying the man goes to town, as we would say, to town, the man goes. It sounded to me 20 years ago when I first stumbled on this very much like Yoda the Jedi Master. For those of you coming into this cold and direct because you saw the word Yoda and uh, grept over the entire universe for what this could possibly mean, you landed back here in Nottingham and you're finding that we've done a, a Yoda syntax transformer. We started off by doing the furry grammar and being able to make up sentences like the robot stroked two furry dice. But we didn't do anything with it. All we did in those early ones, but there are details there you might find it interesting to say, how is it decided that the robot stroked two furry dice is in some sense legal? and okay, because that's what we've done. We're basically saying it's okay, you use rule four, you use rule three, you use rule six. So we were sitting there struggling, wondering what would be, what you typically do in a compiler, we've analyzed what's wanted. In a compiler you generate code. So what's our code generation? Because we're not doing anything at the moment. Our code generation is going to be so simple, it's going to be take the subject verb object parse tree, as it's called, for the input sentence, swap around the object to the front, leave the subject in the middle, and the verb at the end. So it's quite a good exercise on how to hang your actions off what's called the Yak Grammar that implements this, and I think you might actually enjoy that. <laughs> so just for a bit of fun, in this limited vocabulary of words we've got, what we're going to do is analyse the input and say, have you really put this in, in subject, verb, or object, boring order? And if you have done that correctly, then, as the action of our parser, we will Yoderize it. We will turn it into Yoda order and put it out that way. I just wish we had a speech synthesizer in here, Sean. Bring one with you next time so that we could speak it. But let's see. I have got a compiled up program to do all of this. It is called Yoda. It's waiting for input. The standard sentence, the one we like best of all in this silly grammar we've put together, is the robot stroked two furry dice. So that shall be our first test piece. Furry dice. Ding. Oh, look at that. Not only has it analyzed for me which rules in the grammar were used to analyze our subject verb object sentence and to be happy that it is in SVO order. That's a necessary starting point. But then the transformation, the action of our brilliant Yoda compiler, if you like, is Yoda says, two fairy dice, the robot stroked. So in other words, we have picked out from the input sentence what the object bit was at the end. We've promoted that to the front. Then we've left the subject out the next piece after that and the verb comes last. Two furry dice, the robot stroke. Go on, ask me another one, Sean. Let's see if it works. Well, let's go for a very clear, simple one. The dog bit the man. The dog bit the man. Happy with the analysis. Looks slightly different to last time, but it is still subject, verb, object. Yoda would say, the man, the dog bit. I think that works, don't you, Sean? You do, uh, you've always got to say, well, even in that reordering, is it clear who's getting bitten? 
yeah? We're very clear that uh, that is a subject, that it is the dog biting the man still, yes? Because this grammar has this one cute phrase of stroke two furry dies, I'm afraid I've called the whole grammar furry, but this is yodorized furry speak now, so... Uh, Maybe we need people to contribute to this and expand its vocabulary. We'll be putting out a zip file full of all of the Lex and Yak files that make this up. Some of you could try out and re rerun the whole thing if you've got Linux systems, basically. Even for those of you that haven't, uh, I'm also including the intermediate and complete C program file that those preprocessors generate. So you could always come in the middle, try compiling the C file. It will probably be okay. Don't get frustrated by missing libraries. If you're on Unix or Linux, you should be okay if you follow the instructions. For those of you brave souls running C on either Windows or Macintosh, uh, I've been out on the web and looked up and you can get it to work, but what happens is people translate the tools but forget about the libraries, but never mind. Let's see where we get to and I hope you all have a lot of fun with this. I've even included the binaries for 64-bit Intel-based Linux here. Some of you may even be able to just execute those, just I don't know. But many of you might want to recompile the C and hopefully if the libraries are there, you know, you may be able to get the whole thing working again. Once you've succeeded in getting the basic thing going, you may want to have a lot of fun making Yoda's vocabulary much more Star Wars related. I've come off the furry grammar that I was already doing just as a bit of a silly, very elementary exercise. But no, you could, you could fill up your vocab strings with Jedi, lightsaber, Death Star, all this kind of stuff. Sean has just pointed out to me they're not called robots in Star Wars, they're called droids, is that right? So you can translate the word robot into droid. Or you could even come backwards, you know. If Yoda speak, you give, we want it back as SVO, subject, verb, object. So back from Yoda ordering back into English ordering will be a, another thing to do. Translator. A translator, yeah. <laughs> if I go from London and then subtract uh, England and then add, um, I don't know, Japan. We'd hope for Tokyo. Right? We'd hope for Tokyo. And we get Tokyo. Yeah. We get Tokyo twice, weirdly.